My mother-in-law picked this up at an estate sale and I had no idea it was any value, let alone this much value. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. In this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos that sold in January. Resellers share their best bolo. Um, in this video, I am gonna share with you bolos from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. And this is what the post looks like. And you can go over to the Facebook group and look for share your best February bolo, share your best plush bolo, and share your best jewelry bolo. Those posts are up right now. If you're not in the Facebook group, there is a link down below. Definitely shout out your eBay store or whatever platform you sell on. If you have a YouTube channel, shout that out and I will put it in the video as well. All right, so let's get started with the first big money bolo. This one is a vintage R. Esterbrook and Company, number 366, art and drafting nibs, 150 new unused. So these go to pins, right? Pins. <laughs> she said, last estate sale with my favorite company of last year and my second round through, I found a random little box of art supplies. They know what I do. So he asked me if it was worth anything as he pushed things in the box around. I said, I don't know, but I'll find out. I do art when I can, so I planned on it being my box until I found all the calligraphy tips in the box. Lots of research, and I sold this lot in less than 24 hours at full price. I sold another set at $12 this week and a set of drafting erasers for 35, uh, 35 hours after posting. Not bad for a $5 box of art supplies. And this one sold for $90. My second favorite estate company, guy that runs the cheap yard sale style part, was trying to figure me out and really questioned me about my huge box of dirty toy pieces for a dollar. He didn't realize it was all pieces of G.I. Joe flag ship and airplanes from the 80s. The buyer that got this piece came back a week later and got another piece. I've sold seven pieces at almost $200, six more pieces to go, maybe another $100. And it is a G.I. Joe USS flag aircraft carrier superstructure top deck, second deck as is. So it's just a part. Parts and pieces definitely sell, guys. You just got to figure out what they are, what they go to, and put in a good title, and someone will be looking for it. This is vintage Prismacolor 77-piece colored pencils. And if you guys have watched me, you know that these sell. I have featured these before. I have sold these myself. And they are definitely a bolo. This estate sale had about eight jars of pencils. I asked if I could mix and match. She waved me off. Do what you want. I bought five jars when I was done and sold this set in less than a month at 105. Another set at 36. And I still have them all listed. There you go. Bolo. This one is a Chick-fil-A. Or yeah, Chick-fil-A. Team style employee chef shirt, black extra small top. Paid $3 at an out of town thrift, sold for full price of $37 on Mercari. Mercari is awesome, you guys. It's not just clothes, you can sell anything pretty much like eBay on Mercari. And if you're not on Mercari, it's a great place to source. It's also a great place to look up sold listings. I love it. I do have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you join with that link. You can also get another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So uh, definitely, definitely check out Mercari. This one comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty. It is, oh, that last one was Piece of Scrap. And she is on eBay as Piece of Scrap and also YouTube where she teaches about her what sold. She does a lot of clothing and shoes and accessories. So definitely check her out. But she also sells other things. So great channel to learn from. Kathy and Thrifty sold this Bossons Dr. Watson. It is a chalkware uh, wall hanging. Yeah, wall hanging. It looks brand spanking new. How cool is that? 1984. It's like minty, right? Purchase four of these at Bossom's Chalkware Wall Hangers. Brand new tags, all for 17 local estate auction. I'm sorry, local estate sale. All different faces. Sold this one on one of my promotion sales for 40 plus shipping international buyer, less than 48 hours. Also sold another one with the same time frame. That is Cat Feel and Thrifty here on eBay. And she is also on Whatnot. And she has the most amazing vintage jewelry sales. Definitely check her out. 
and she starts her prices at $7 or less for all of her vintage jewelry at this time. So get over there and grab some deals. Um, I do have a referral link if you're not on Whatnot. I'm on Whatnot selling jewelry also. I love it. And I'm Bolo Buddies, all one word. You can get $15 to shop if you use my referral link down in the description. And that is for Whatnot. Here's another chalkware item that Cat Feel and Thrifty sold. It is a rabbit bow tie jacket glitter souvenir carnival fair prize from the 1950s. Would you have walked past it or picked it up? Not in fantastic condition. Very, very old. And she sold it. Well, this is something I never knew about. This is a chalkware carnival prize from the 1940s. So she says 50s in the title, 40s here. So I don't know what it is. This is the kind of stuff that would they would give out in the good old days. I bought four different animal figures and paid five each just out of curiosity. Definitely not in perfect condition. Lots of nicks and scratches. Got home and realized they were bolos. They are large and fairly heavy. Sold this one and a cat for 25 each to the same buyer. There is one I am keeping though. It is a Donald Duck and on the bottom, it, it was written 1941 with the name of the amusement park. My dad used to go to Ohio as a child. Weird to find something like that when I live in New Mexico. Cat feeling thrifty. So it must have said Ohio on the bottom. How cool is that? This is a vintage cabbie mate, cabbie mat. I don't know how to say it. Automatic slide projector made in Japan. Lens powers on. She said, I bought this in a storage unit some time ago that I am still going through and I'm still going through it and I will be for quite a while. This was one of the items in the unit. It is like new condition. I did not test. I did put that in the listing. Took about a month to sell, had pennies into it. It was easy to ship. Buyer paid full price plus shipping, $48, cat feel and thrifty. And I didn't know cat feel and thrifty did storage units. That's interesting. Picker money flipper on this one. If you guys are not following her on YouTube, you need to because wow, she sells some big money bolos. Uh, bought this for 35 and sold it for 211 plus shipping. It's a vintage carved onyx stone lamp iceberg, three polar bear art deco lamp sculpture. How cool is that little cutie? Quebec. Picker money flipper again, paid 50 cents for this CD. It sold in pre-owned condition for $67.45. Would you have picked it up or walked past it? This is an Aztec Mayan ceremonial knife, white obsidian blade dagger, eagle warrior vintage. Whoa, look at that fancy thing. That looks like a piece of art to me. Uh, paid $2. What at the Goodwill? Wow, sold for 70 plus shipping. That is crazy. Now this is just unbelievable to me. Another YouTube channel you definitely want to follow. Childhood Finds. She finds the coolest bolos also. My mother-in-law picked this up at an estate sale and I had no idea it was any value, let alone this much value. We paid $2 and sold for full asking of $200 in a couple weeks. Actually, $199.95, but who's counting, right? What? It says Paiut, P-A-I-U-T-E. I may be saying that wrong. I probably am saying that wrong. Tool Duck Decoy Artist Signed Martin George, 1993, Woven Handmade. Uh, all I got to say for this one is absolutely wow. A lot of times people see this and just think, oh, artist and made, probably an unknown artist. Always look it up because you just never know. It's in permanent marker. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. This is a footed filigree or malu gold tone jewelry cas casket box glass vintage floral rose. So is this a casket for your jewelry? Like a jewelry box? That's interesting. So it's kind of glass sides so you could see all your beautiful jewels. Picked up at a yard sale for a dollar, sold it for 150. Wow, who sells that for a dollar? That was Childhood Finds as well. Bought at Salvation Army CNY for $2.99, sold local for $40. King Cobra Golf Driver is, um, looks like eBay store maybe? Wait a minute. Oh, I couldn't show this one. I couldn't show this one because it was Facebook. Disregard. Sorry. All right, let's try this one. I was like, that doesn't match what this is. 
This is Hardware Mark 13 Uncut Red Edition, very rare horror DVD Euro Cult. Whatever that means, it's a bolo. You ready? Found this rare out of print horror DVD at the Goodwill Bins. I always get a big bag of media for $5 when I go, so I have cents into this. Took an offer for $64.99 in five days. This is North Sam 17. It's a DVD. Here is North Sam 17 as well. Found this vintage 100% camel hair coat at the Goodwill Bins. I'm not a clothing reseller at all, but this was a top of this was on top of the bin. I was walking past and figured it was worth my, I'm sorry, figured it would be worth something. Probably paid three to four, sold in a month for $99.50. Vintage Orvis coat, 100% camel hair women's beige. Check it out. Camel hair. I was like, how do they know it's camel hair? Well, that's how you know. <laughs> it says it right there. All right. This next one comes from Edge City Traders. It's a vintage Delmonico's restaurant silver plated 12 inch serving tray. She is Edge City Traders here and on Whatnot. And if you guys are not on Whatnot, you can get $15 to shop with my referral link down below. I don't know if I already said that. Was there somebody else that sold on Whatnot? Or was that another video I did today? I don't know. But join Whatnot. Come follow me if you're not already. I love it over there. It's so fun. I get to hang out with you guys and sell jewelry. So uh, Edge City Traders does jewelry as well. She sold this for, let's see, paid $12.50 at local Habitat for Humanity Restore, sold to a UK buyer who is all in for $121.14. There was nothing special about this platter except the mark on the bottom. Delmonico's is a historic restaurant in New York City. There you go. And she is just full of knowledge. So check her out. She's also on Etsy. Look at the scuffy scratchies and everything. Now, uh, what they actually paid for it, I'm not sure, but they were all in for 121. That just kind of gives you a basis of what they were willing to pay with shipping. Here's another one from Edge City Traders. It's a Van Briggle Flower Frog Art Nouveau. Wait, I'm sorry, Art Nouveau <laughs> Arts and Crafts Antique Three Frogs Blue Green. So, if you guys know, Nouveau was one of those words I struggled with. Did I say it right? Nouveau, right? I think I said it right because I think I used to say nueve like the number <laughs> is nueve ocho nueve yeah <laughs> that's how I used to say it and I think it's nuvo all right I paid two dollars at the local goodwill it sold for a best offer of 65 keep an eye out for old weird looking items they can be valuable this one is a vintage barbie swan lake musical glitter snow globe uh, it is tested and has a video attached. There it is. Knew this was special the second I laid eyes on it. Not only was the condition excellent, there was no yellowing in the globe. Saw sold comps on this for 30 to 40 range with yellowing water. Paid $4.99, sold for asking price in 17 days of $49.99. This one is a Hello Kitty by Sanrio cookie jar ceramic canister from 2023. Retail Arbitrage found this sitting at my local Ross for $8.99. Decided to take a chance on it. Took 16 days to sell for $39.99. So retail arbitrage, a lot of times you're going to pay up a little more for retail arbitrage. But if you can flip it quick, it's definitely worth it. Worth it. I used to do full-time clothing retail arbitrage. That is all I did back when I first started on eBay was full-time clothing reseller. Can you believe it? Now I'm like, I don't want to do clothes. I don't want to do clothes. I'm pretty much obsessed in jewelry right now. So that's what I'm doing over on Whatnot. This is what I would call a vintage plastic necklace, which is not laying right on my neck. Um, I'm like vintage plastic. I love vintage plastic. I sell tons of it. Um, I've got some other necklaces that I wore in some other videos, but I like stone and all that also. So I'm trying to wear more of the jewelry that I sell in videos like this. But some of these things I'm hanging on to, like I love this white with the contrast with the black simple very cool all right you guys come see me on whatnot uh check out the other bolo buddies videos i have category videos i also have tons of videos like this i would love for you guys to come share one of your bolos so i can feature it in a video just like this and be sure to put your ebay store if you want a shout out or your youtube channel so i can get you guys in the video thanks for watching